Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import XYZ coordinates from Microsoft Excel to AutoCAD. So first of all, I'm going to show you what kind of coordinates that I'm working with. Over here, you can see I have a bunch of XY coordinates, basically a set of longitude and latitude coordinates along with an elevation value. And altogether, I have about 129,600 points. And for each of those points, what we have is we have the x-coordinate, the y-coordinate, and also we have the elevation value, which also can be considered as the z-coordinate. So our objective would be to transfer this into AutoCAD. And the process is going to be fairly simple. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this file as a CSV file. Because the file that I'm going to contain all of these coordinate information prior to importing them into AutoCAD, I would like to separate these by commas. And if you were to save this file as a CSV file, which stands for comma separated values, then these values will automatically get separated by commas. So I'm going to go ahead and click over here on file, go to save as, and right over here when selecting the file type, I'm going to select the file format to be CSV, comma delimited. And the file name, I'm going to retain it as points. And we can see that file over here. All right, now I'm going to open Notepad. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to directly drag this and drop it over here. And just like I told you guys, the values have now been separated automatically by commas. And I'm going to get rid of the header over here that we have by default. And instead of that header, what I'm going to specify over here is the corresponding AutoCAD commands. Now I'm going to use two AutoCAD commands to actually do this process. Those two commands are going to be multiple and point. But since we are going to create a script file which we can run directly from the command line of AutoCAD, we are going to have to enter those commands in a specific way. Now in case if you are not familiar with the command multiple, we actually can use the multiple command to repeat one specific command over and over again. Now for example, if I open AutoCAD, if I want to create a point, I can simply go ahead and type point and it will let me create just one single point but after that the command will be deactivated as you can see over here. However, if I want to create multiple points without actually exiting out from the command, what I can do is I can initially type multiple and then it will ask me what kind of command do you want to use under this multiple command and in this case it's going to be the point command. And after that, it's asking me to specify the point, but when I specify the point, you can see that it does not really exit me out from the point command automatically. It lets me create as many points as I want until I press escape. So this is basically the concept that we are going to use in order to do this process entirely automatically. So I'm just going to select everything and hit delete so that I can erase all the points. And let's head back to the notepad file now. And over here, I'm going to specify the two commands. However, I'm going to add an underscore because we are going to run this using this AutoCAD command line as a script file. So it's going to be underscore multiple. And I'm going to add a space followed by another underscore and the actual command that will actually generate the point which uh, consists of this X, Y and Z coordinates will be the point command. And this is pretty much it guys. All I have to do is now save this file as a script file. So I'm going to go to file and select save as, and I'm going to name this as points AutoCAD script. Made the name a bit descriptive over here so that we know which file we are talking about. Quite important to keep in mind that as the extension, I'm going to specify the extension to be SCR, which stands for basically script file. And we can save this. And if you actually happen to open the folder, you can see that this is how that file got saved. And now all we have to do is simply head back to AutoCAD and over here in the command type SCR. And it will ask us to load the corresponding script file. And as you can see over here, this point underscore AutoCAD script is the file name of my script file. And I'm just going to open that. And guys, it might take a couple of seconds for AutoCAD to actually load in the points. And once the points have been imported into AutoCAD, there's a good chance that those points will actually get placed somewhere completely far away from your current drawing canvas's extent. So to zoom into the objects, what you can do is you can double click your scroll wheel button, just like this. And as you can see, 
it directly zoomed us into the extent of our object and in this case our object happens to be this large array of different points. So if you zoom in and click on one of these points and if you check the properties you will be able to see that it has accurately recorded the x value, the y value as well as the z value which happens to be the elevation value. And with that I think we can conclude the tutorial. And if you do have any questions regarding the overall process, you know what to do. You can leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And you can always show your support by hitting that like button. Also, before I wrap up the tutorial, if you would like to check out the other AutoCAD related tutorials that I have posted, you can click on the videos that you're seeing right now on the screen as well. So thanks a lot for watching guys. I'll see you again with another video very soon.